I've been training really hard at the gym every day. And the reason for this is, is because I feel that it's time for a new breed of female pro wrestlers. I was called everything from a man to a lesbian to a just extremely rejected and extremely unaccepted. Even at a very young age, there was something different about her, but she hadn't identified that yet. You know, she, she hadn't found her, her people, especially through her teens. Her physical body was a struggle for her because I think she knew that she had the capability of being strong, but she didn't know how to embrace that. I was always an athlete since the time I was 15 years old. I started lifting weights, watching my brother and his friends, and mostly men who were very supportive, egging me on to lift more weight every day and who really made me feel proud and cool. In a lot of ways, maybe growing up, there was a lack of control and she could start to learn what it was like to manipulate her body to create what she wanted to create. She could control that. I think it made her feel confident. That's when I decided that I was going to become an actress. I wanted to be on TV. I wanted to be a movie star. Being one to never take no for an answer as I would drive five hours for a two second audition where I knew that I wasn't right for the part. When people would see me and go, wow, she's different looking. <laughs> right was realizing that I was not going to fit into the average role on TV. But I still craved that entertainment and all of the things that I had wanted since I was a little girl, and that made me happy. It was a period of time where she was really sort of floundering. I said, put everything you own in your car and just come here. Because she didn't have a, she didn't have a relationship, she didn't have a job, she had no money. And I think we were really, really, really close. I had Joni, Joni had me, and so we hit the gym. That's also when Jerry entered the picture. My role was specifically to help her prepare for a fitness competition. For days to follow that first initial meeting, I couldn't stop thinking about it. I was extremely impressed, more than I ever had been for any other person. We started seeing each other. It evolved into a relationship. Everything that she did was something to better herself, to be that one thing she knew she was destined for, but she didn't quite know what it was yet. You're spinning that wheel of occupations, and what meant wrestling? That's what I want to do. Well, I watched her on TV one mm -hmm. night, and I was not a wrestling fan. Each person was such a character, and there was lights and people clapping and screaming. And I said to my sister, I said, I can do that. That's how I'm going to do it. That's how I'm going to make my mark. That is what planted the seed. She said, I'm going to explore this. Do you want to do it with me? And I said, nope. And that's how she eventually ended up finding Killer Kowalski. I walked into an old rickety gymnasium and there's this guy sitting like humped over. I said, hey, Mr. Kowalski, and he said yes, and I said, I want to be a wrestler. How long have you been in wrestling? About six months, and um, it feels like a lot longer because I have found my element, so I feel like I've been doing it forever. <laughs> She was there every single day. She had black and blue marks everywhere. She was exhausted. And she loved it. And eventually, he said, you're ready. Yes, I come all the way from Boston, under the tutelage of Killer Kowalski to get some butt down here. And let me tell you something. Ladies, I'm going to get your belt. And guys, I'm going for your belt. Do you hear that? I remember going to Marshalls and buying a bathing suit, getting some big volleyball pads. I didn't really know what I was doing. And there was like, you know, five people in the audience. And I was thrilled, of course. Look at that boy. I met Joni in 1996 in Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Okay, ladies, if you're ready, let's do it. I'm a tall, big girl. Here's another tall, big girl, and I'm like, yes, we're gonna have fun. 
she would like throw a forearm in my back and I would just stand up and look at her and smile at her and I'm like, hit me. She hit me and I hit the bat. So I think she understood what I was saying. She wanted every little girl that was not of a normal size to understand it's okay to be athletic and be muscular. She wanted to take the pain that she had felt for so long and make something good about it. She felt like she could fit in in pro wrestling. When honestly, it wasn't the place she should have been. Joni had no idea what the professional wrestling underbelly was about. <laughs> 